Welcome to Robinson Foundry. My name's Seth Robinson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I made a pair of ergonomic sand rammers for sand casting. Sand rammers are used to tightly compact sand in order to make a mold. I made this sand rammer a while ago, and although I really like the way it turned out, it's not very comfortable to use. As you can see, my hand tends to slide down and rest at the bottom of the grip. So using Fusion 360, I came up with a more ergonomic design that would keep my hand about 6 inches away from the tip as well as prevent it from sliding down. One sand rammer has a flat head and the other has a tapered head. I 3D printed the patterns in two different orientations. The main patterns were printed vertically, which in this case allowed for the highest resolution and least amount of noticeable layer lines. I also printed half of a pattern horizontally, which will help when it comes time to make a mold. After the patterns were done printing, I glued them together, lightly sanded them down, and then coated them with some spray paint. With the patterns done, it was time to make some molds. This mold was made using an oil bonded sand called Petrobond. First I used the pattern that I printed horizontally to establish a parting line by ramming up what's called a false drag. The top half of the mold box is called the cope and the bottom half is called the drag. Then I removed that pattern and replaced it with one of the main patterns. After I had my parting line established, I placed the cope onto the drag and packed it with sand. Then I flipped the box over, removed the drag and the sand in it, and then placed it back onto the cope and rammed it up again. Next, I cut large holes into the mold to act as feeders. These will supply the casting with metal as it solidifies and shrinks. I also cut a hole to pour the metal into, called a sprue, and channels for the metal to flow through, called runners. These sand rammers will be cast in aluminum that came from car rims. Aluminum has a melting point of 1221 degrees Fahrenheit or 660 degrees Celsius. It took about 20 minutes to melt in my homemade furnace. Once the aluminum was molten, I checked to make sure the temperature was around 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 750 degrees Celsius, and then poured it into the molds. I actually had way more metal in my crucible than I needed, so it was a little difficult to control, but it's better to have too much metal than not enough.
I let the molds cool down for a while and then opened them up to see how the castings turned out. I was happy to see that both the castings turned out great. Here you can see that the feeders really did their job. Next I went to work cutting and grinding off the excess metal. I used my angle grinder with a flap disc specifically designed to grind aluminum, which made this job so much easier. The last step was to use my die grinder to polish the castings, and they were done. I really like how these turned out. These sand rammers are so much nicer to use than the style I was using before. If you're interested in making some for yourself, you can find a link for the free files in the description. And as always, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, tell me what you think in the comments, and subscribe for future projects. Thanks for watching.